please like, comment, and subscribe. What are you dedicated to? And what is it said was kind of funny. Um, is it like many people are not even aware that they are dedicated to something? We think of dedication as I dedicate myself to this. But it's not always how dedication works. When we establish certain belief systems, uh, you know, certain um, truths, you know, inside ourselves, we become dedicated to them because we live our life as a testament to those beliefs, which means that we're dedicated to them. We're dedicated to trying to prove that, that what we believe is true, no matter what it is. People are so dedicated when it comes to their low self-worth. People are willing to fight to the death to prove that they're worthless. They can dedicate their entire lives you know, to providing the evidence and proof that they're just shit. People do that every day. That's true dedication. <laughs> so if nothing else, it proves that humans are capable of dedication and that we are able to live something every day. But we might consider becoming more intelligent about it. Oh, am I dedicating my life to the right things here, the right causes? Proving that I'm shit is not a worthy cause, perhaps. There might be better ones, you know? So you can choose. That's often the thing when people find something, you know, that they feel is so important, um, they dedicate themselves to it. Because what Pirate says is the dedication itself is becoming part of something greater than yourself. And then letting yourself operate based on what is greater. So you let yourself become a vehicle for that which is beyond yourself. And this is, this is in essence what dedication is about. So it can be a greater image, a, gr a greater understanding, um, some greater cause. And still, for some reason, most people think that means that proving that they're worthless is that cause. And it's, it's addressing that this is the biggest and most common disease of humans. It's that. It's their greatest cause, their greatest dedication, and their greatest um, illness. By looking at what you're actually dedicated to, which means what are you living for? That, that's really it. What are you living for? And try to reevaluate if you've chosen the right causes. And then also deciding what you want to be dedicated to. It could be love instead. It could be bringing the world forward. It could be, you know, helping animals. It, could, it can be anything that you find to be helpful to bring growth to yourself in the world. 